everyone. Nice to see you again. This is my guitar. I've got nowhere to put my guitar. So today is going to be very musical and I'm going to be talking about Peter Six and how, And particularly this book, Lost in Time. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to draw Harold. And I'm also going to teach you how to draw some dinosaurs. So not only is it going to be musical, it's going to be hamster based, and there's going to be dinosaurs. Um, or should I say pigosaurs, but um, we'll find out more about those later on. Right, so I'm going to start today reading from this book, Pig Six and Harold, Lost in Time. Now if you don't know anything about Pig Six and Harold, I can describe them very simply as a super overconfident pig that believes he can do anything he puts his mind to. Um, whether that's fly a plane, climb a mountain, swim the channel, yeah, he just believes he can do anything. Nothing will stop Pig Six. But Harold, however, is sort of a little bit more quiet and a gentle sort of chap who does um, gardening, bakes cakes, things like that. He doesn't go on big adventures. Although, because he's best friends with Pig Sticks, always ends up on them. And so in this one, uh, they travel in time. And they do so because they find a broken, well it's not broken, but they find a, a time machine yeah, up in Pig Six's loft in his attic space. Pig Six jumps on it thinking it'd be great, pulls the lever which snaps and they end up travelling around through time, um, going to all sorts of places and all sorts of adventures. Um, so I'm going to read start, this bit starting here. Stuck in time. <laughs> Travelling through time was a lot like falling down a very large, very scary plug hole. Pig sticks and Harold span in circles as history flashed before their eyes, and then, with a thud, the machine stopped. This doesn't look like the future, said Harold. This looks like the time of the dino pigs! We're in the past, said Pig sticks. How interesting! It's not interesting, it's terrifying, said Harold, edging away from a Tyrannosaurus pig. And the time machine is broken. <gasps> we can't control where we travel to without the lever. How will we ever get home? Well, we need to find something to replace the broken lever, said Pixix. What about that stick? He pointed to a branch lying in a pile of dino pig eggs. You fetch it, I'll guard the time machine. If you think so, said Harold, reaching out. Harold reaches out to get the stick, but uh oh, there's a load of dino pig eggs and they're cracking! Ah! Snap, snap, snap! <gasps> Eek! Snap, 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 snap! Harold jumps onto the machine. Harold leapt onto the time machine empty handed. Quick, he cried, let's get out of here! Pig sticks gave the machine a thump, and soon they were spinning through time. Wherever we end up, it'll be better than here, he said, as they crash landed again. But pig sticks was wrong. Can you see where they are? We're in ancient Egypt, cried Harold. What a wonderful view, said pig sticks as they slid down a pyramid. This must be the reign of Cleopatra, said pig sticks, and there she is. How dare you use my favourite pyramid as a slide, cried Cleopatra, waving a scary looking staff. It's covered in pure gold. Oh, very tasteful it is too, said Pig Sticks. Oh, we're very sorry, said Harold. And then he realised Clear Picture's staff would be the perfect replacement for the broken time lever. Pig Sticks, he hissed. A staff! A giraffe, said Pig Sticks, his ears a bit clogged from time travelling. No, Clear Picture's stick, said Harold. She feels sick, said Pig Sticks. Are you two muttering about? said Cleopatra, her eyes narrowing. Oh, we were wondering your royal royalness, said Harold. Um, could we please borrow your staff? How dare you? roared Cleopatra. Only a pharaoh can touch this staff. It belonged to Pigotep the third guards. Lock them up. Quick, Harold, whispered Pig Six. Get on. Let's get out of here. Pig Six and Harold jumped backwards and forwards through time. Everywhere they looked for something to replace the broken time lever, but they had no luck. There was nothing in London where they got a nice warm welcome. A bit too warm for Harold's liking. What's so great about this fire? 
Then they visited New York City. They didn't hang around for long. Look, Harold, it's the statue of Piggerty. They bumped into Julius Squealer and found themselves at the sharp end of the law in ancient Rome. Harold was starting to feel time travel sick. Isn't history exciting, said Pigsticks. In books, yes, said Harold, but in real life, it's downright dangerous and I haven't eaten a single cake yet. I just want to fix our time machine and get back home. He screwed his eyes up tight as the time machine landed again on something soft. Poof. Well, this place looks rather nice, said Pigsticks. I'm not so sure, said Harold. I can see some very angry looking boats. Oh, nonsense, said Pigsticks. I have a good feeling this time. The air's clear. The view is stunning. And the time machine is sinking, cried Harold. And there they are. Maybe you can work out where they are, judging by the bits of dragon everywhere. Crash! They fell through the roof of a smoke-filled hall. A lot of very angry eyes were staring down at them. Oh no, cried Harold. Vikings! And there are the Vikings. And that's where we're going to end. Ah. Right, then, I hope you enjoyed that. So we're going to do uh, some drawing now. But just after the drawing, uh, we're going to do some noise, make some noise. We're going to have a song. I've written a song especially for this. It's about dinosaurs, so it's going to be noisy. So if, even if you haven't got an instrument, uh, maybe get a pot and a pan and something wooden to hit it. Now, my, my room is absolutely stuffed here with, with instruments. From uh, cello, which you can let see. Cello. And I've got guitars coming out of my ears. Here's my electric guitar, which I shall be playing later on. Um, but also, I've got all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So just an example of how you can make noise. Right then, so that was me being very silly, and uh, now it's time to draw. Pens and paper ready. Hello. Right, we're going to draw Harold. Now Harold's a hamster, but like all my other characters, he starts off like a fried egg. So if you remember how a fried egg looks, you start by drawing a big blob like this. Okay, just like that. So now we need to put the yolk in. Like so. And next we're going to need a nose. Okay, so um, if we go a bit quick, just press pause and carry on. So yeah, he needs his big nose. So scribble this nose in like Lovely. Okay, now to make him happy, we put a little Letter J, a J. Like that. Now we've got happy looking Harold. And we're going to add two eyes. Just like that. Two ears. There you go. Now Harold has three toes on each foot and they're like a W with an extra loop on it. There's one, there's another one, two. There he is, two feet Harold. Now his arms, draw straight lines down, and then you've got three fingers and a thumb. So there's one arm. And the other arm you can do pretty much exactly the same too. Like this, straight down, hands, or Harold likes to ask questions, so you might want to do a, a looping arm, give him a thumb, his fingers. Hello. Right. 
Right then. So next up, we talked a bit about dino pigs. So I thought it'd be nice to actually show you how to turn dinosaurs into dino pigs. Now, if you've got a favourite dinosaur, um, well, I should start off doing a Tyrannosaurus pig, probably because we've heard about one of those in the storyline. So maybe if I just do a quick drawing of what I think a dinosaur looks like. Here is a little dinosaur. I'll do it very small, so I've got space. Arr. Arr. Little Tyrannosaurus with his tiny little hands. Arr. Bit of nose. Spiky tail. Do they have spikes? Do they have spikes? This one has spikes. There's a tummy. There we are. So there's a sort of a dinosaur. Now, if you're doing a dino pig, then you want to put a pig nose on it. So let's turn this into a dino pig. So a pig nose looks like this. A big oval shape. Two lines down it. And there you have the pig nose. And now we just want to draw the body onto it. So this dino pig Nice and big, so it's just like this shape. Let's give it an angry eye. So, if ever you want to draw an angry person, they always have weird ticks for eyes because they look like frowning. Tick. If you ever had a good mark in your school books, you get a tick. Let's draw an angry eye. Angry eye. Right now, the great thing with the dinosaur pigs or dino pigs. Once you've got the nose done, you can put the mouth under it. Sharp teeth. <laughs> Underbite. <laughs> right but obviously, dino pigs are not like dinosaurs. They don't have claws. Look, they don't have those. They have trotters. So let's do a. Uh, let's do a little trotter. Little trotter. Tummy. Another little trotter. And trotter for feet. Trotters, if you don't know this already, are shaped like W's look. So you've got a big W and you've got a trotter. Perfect. And there's some spikes. And a lizard tummy. So what you might also want to do is take some of your other favourite dinosaurs and... Um, Turn those into dino pigs. I'll do a very quick one here. Have I got space? Yeah, probably got space. I'll do it very little if you can see this. Do any of you remember which dinosaur has a really long neck? And a really long tail. Pig nose, and what do we have here? That's right, it's a piglodocus. Um, you might want to draw a scene with Harold being chased by dino pigs. You might want some sort of palm trees in the background, maybe a volcano. <laughs> There you are, how to draw dino pigs. So find your favourite pig. No, not pig. Find your favourite dinosaur. Stegosaurus. Uh, Compsognathus. Euplocephalus. Tyrannosaurus. Diplodocus. Pterodactyl. Somewhere like that. And uh, give them a pig nose. And see how you get on. Right, it's time for the word search challenge. Now this is an animal. Just like the last time. So you're looking for the name of an animal amongst all the letters. And it can go all over the place. 15 seconds, go. And here is the moment you have all been waiting for. It's the song. Okay, hopefully you've got all your bits and bobs with you. 
Just make a noise, join in, roar like a dinosaur, dino pig, something like that. Um, yeah, I apologise in advance for this, but you know, I've done my best. And um, I shall try and get the lyrics to come up so you can join in. Yeah, the song is called I'm a Dinosaur Tyrannosaur. And uh, you might like it. I'm a dinosaur tyrannosaur I can scare your teeth a messy job I don't fly like no one pterosaur Don't I try and turn my arm for a saw, yeah? I'm a dinosaur tyrannosaur When you see me you say blimey core I ain't no Intego boy, oh! You just wait to get me mad, Aggie says, thank you for watching. When you see me, you say, blimey, core. Cool. Mm -hmm.